Hello everyone, Sheila back again, second time today. Well, this will be the third time actually because I've been shopping and I've done a shopping haul as well, but I haven't put that one up yet. I'm going to sort that video out, but I'm going to do this one first and then I'll sort them both out. But anyway, I had Happy Meals today and as you can see, the bag is open. It was split with a... Um, the young fella that the postman that delivered it, um, he apologised and said he had caught it on the corner of something when he was pulling it out of the um, the van. So it had split there and part of the way around, and I think a little bit somewhere else it had split on the back there. It had he had caught it there. So he asked me, he says to make sure nothing was damaged in it, and so I just cut cut it. <laughs> across the top and there and I says everything's okay it's wool I says there's nothing to damage really you know but he was very nice he was honest about it and said that he had actually done it when he was getting it out of the uh, the van so I told him there was no problem so <laughs> it's all half open like that now <laughs> but there is a card here I'm going to see who, who it's from I had opened this earlier, so I do know who it's from, but I'm going to read it to you. This is, hi Sheila, I hope you are well. I went wool shopping and thought you might like the wool I have sent you. So you thank you so much for your videos and tutorials. You are so clever and such an inspiration. Take care, love, Lisa. So this is from Lisa. And I'll just take the wool out of the, the bag with the open and I have it on there. And there's one, two, I'll start with this one. Oh no, they're all mixed up. This one is Baby Soft Double Knitting. And it's, I think it's a 50 gram ball. This, this one I'm looking to see where. Oh yeah, 50 grams. 100% acrylic. Four millimetre needles and it just says shade pink so that is pink with little spots of a deeper pink on it this is baby spot I don't know who makes this one oh. hasn't got the brand and it just says baby spot double knitting I've had some like this before, um, looks very much the same, but smaller balls. So anyway, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven of that one. The lovely pink one's a lovely pink that I think I made the baby blanket um for Jane, I think, with the last look I had of that. Put that one down there and see what the rest is, and then there are some I'll get these ones out because it'd be easier to get them out. This is Stylecraft Spectrum Yarns, a Spectrum Yarns brand. And this one is special. For babies double knitting and it's four millimeter needles and hook and it's 100% premium acrylic and they are 275 meters or 300 yards it's naturally anti-pilling so that's that one so that's lovely blue so there are one two three Four of that one. I could get an adult sing out of that, out of four balls. But it's a lovely shade for babies. That's a lovely blue. Four balls of the blue. And then there are... Oh, I've seen this one in um, B&M. This is Baby Sparkle Knitting Yarn. Don't know whether you can see the 
the spark eye. You can't really make it out on there, but it is. You can just see the sparkle. It's not. Um, it's not very prominent. It's. You can see it when you're holding the wool yourself, but it doesn't sort of show up on the screen. Oh, you can. You can see it a little bit there. So that's two balls. I think that's it. Two balls. Yes, it's two balls of that one. And it just says 95% acrylic and 5% metallic yarn. There's 300 metres, 4 millimetre needles, just says needles, but same with hooks. So that's another, it's a lovely baby pink. Oh, and there's two more from, um... oh, this is Chunky, Chunky Deluxe Spot. This is B&M as well, I have by, I know by the, um, the label on there, that's a B&M's label. Can it see anything that actually says B&M? But this one is 6mm needles and there are 160 metres approximately and I have two balls of that. That'll be something to do, nice to do for a, um, a baby for the colder weather, being chunky. It's got, you can see colours, got pink, green, blue, lemon. I think that's the colours, all, all the colours that's in it. Oh, there's four colours, little spots of colour in that. I like those ones better than the ones with the stripes. I like the ones with either the spots or the colours all where you only get short little bits of the colour but they carry on all the way along the, the thing. Those are the type I like. And then there's some more with spots here. Oh this is a baby the same as the um the same as the pink one. There's a, a one that's got lilac, blue, pink. Peach. This one's just a shade white. <laughs> so that's a baby spot double knitting again. You can see the colours in it there. So there's two, four, seven of that one as well. Yes, it's all, all, all the same. That all the, oh, they are lovely. Those, <laughs> I enjoy knitting with them ones. I love those and the little spot ones. I'll have to put that down there. I haven't got room on the other side. So that's happy mail from Lisa. <laughs> and you have got good taste in wool, Lisa, because that is beautiful. All of that wool. I'm having a drink of my tea as well. Elvis Presley's got rather hot here. It is a rather hot day today for a change. I parked my car outside when I did the um, the video when I went to Barbara's to pick up the wool from Barbara. When I came back, I had parked my car on the drive. It's usually in the garage. And car was red hot when I got into it and I never thought to pull the windows down but I went out shopping left it outside as done it was the same there the car was red hot when I got into it but you know I used my sat nav when I went to um, Barbara's I have been there a couple of times before but I wasn't sure it's in a place called Killingworth um, where I, I go up shopping up there sometimes but I wasn't sure of you know, it had been a little while since I'd been there, so I thought I'd put my sat nav on. And it took me sort of like a long way when I come up to the, um, there's a big roundabout that goes into the shopping centre, but I went past there and down this long road, really long road, down to an island at the bottom and turn around, had to go left, I think, and another long road, another roundabout and left again. 
never thought when I was coming back, I thought to myself, oh, I'm not sure whether I remember which, which roundabouts I went, went on. I'm just going to put the sat nav on for home. So I put my address in. And you know, when I went into the estate, when I came down the road, I turned, turned right. No, left. I turned left into the, um, the estate. Well, I'm thinking the, the, it's going to take me right when I go out to go home. But it didn't. The sat nav told me to turn left. So I turned left. A very short drive to a little roundabout, turn round around, and there was a shopping centre around the corner. I could have came up to the roundabout without the sat nav. I could have came up to the roundabout, just went round the roundabout, all the way down the road. That takes you to the shopping centre, the little roundabout at the bottom, turned around. And just a few yards there, that was where Barbara lived. But that sat nav took me a really long way down a long road, round a couple of other roundabouts. At least I know if I go back to see Barbara again any time, I know what way to go now instead of using my sat nav. <laughs> the sat nav seems to take you long ways. It's the same when I first started going up to um, where I go for my bingo. When I first started going up that way, long before the bingo it was, because my partner I had at the time lived up there. And I used my sat-nav to take me there, and it took me away from where I was going to get to the E1, and that, and I thought it must be an easier way than that. And my sister goes that way quite often. She has a friend there, so I asked her what way she went, and she told me the way she went, and it was an entirely different way to the what the sat-nav said. And very much quicker it was as well. And that's the way I go now. So these sat navs seem to take you the longest way around. They want you to use twice as much petrol to get anywhere. I think they're, they're linked with the garages and that. But anyway, that's my second video today. So thumbs up and subscribe and I'll catch you all again sometime. I'm going to have to go upstairs and see if I can find some room on my shelves for this wool, find the bags to put it in because I don't want the dust to get at it. So thumbs up and subscribe again and I'll catch you again sometime. Bye for now.